Can you believe it, dear? Today is Lizzie's wedding. It's fantastic, my darling. Indeed. Pardon me, your lordships. May I introduce Mr. and Mrs. Carlyle, Mr. and Mrs. Carlyle, and their three children. Ah, well, you must be the rest of John's family. Lovely to meet all of you. Indeed. Oh, my goodness, did they lose your luggage at the airport? How awful. Oh, no, they didn't lose my luggage. This is just my bikini. I wear it everywhere I go. It's much more comfortable that way. Don't you agree? Oh, I've never thought of it that way. I would just like to say thank you so much for inviting all of us and for letting us stay in your beautiful house. Not a problem. We have plenty of room, and any family of John's family is about to become our family. Please make yourselves at home. Thank you so much. We better get ready. The wedding's gonna start soon. All right, family. We've got a wedding to get to. It was nice seeing you. See you in a little bit, and thanks again. Yes, thank you so much. Your house is beautiful. But Uncle George is right. We better get ready. Come on, guys. We've got a wedding to get to. Yay! Yay! Oh, I'm a lucky mother. My other son's about to be married. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Hey, little monkey fans. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching. And now for some shout outs to a few of our amazing fans. Lisa Steinbeck. Mater at Cutting. Gemma Helmers, Maria Hamilton, Jerry is the name, Kawaii Animal Lover, Pamela Smythe, My Life is Daisy, Gymnastics is My Life 914, and Playmobil Girl. Ricardo Family, Uncle Amazon John's Wedding. Have you ever seen anybody wear that? No, never. Well, except at the beach, but we're not exactly at the beach now, are we? No, my darling, we are not. Mrs. Ricardo, as requested, your lordships. You wanted to speak to me? Oh, yes. Mrs. Ricardo, thank you for coming down to see me. Please, call me Lucy. We're gonna be family soon. All right. Lucy, then. What can I help you with? Well, this is a little bit of a touchy subject, but we have a question about... your mother-in-law? Oh? And what's that? I know we've lightened up on the size of the wedding, but there are still standards when it comes to... well... The dress code? Yes, thank you, darling. The dress code. Your mother-in-law seems to be quite comfortable wearing her bathing suit. And I was worried about her wearing that to the wedding. Do you know what she'll be wearing? Does she need to borrow a dress? <laughs> okay, well, this makes sense now. To be honest, I don't know what she's going to wear. And Judy's always worn what she's wanted to wear. There's no talking her out of it. Oh dear. But I can tell you from past experience, she's very respectful when it comes to special occasions. Indeed. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. That is good news. Do you think that she'll be wearing a dress again today? I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, goodness. Well, now that that's covered, I suppose, ladies, we must get ready for the wedding. Yes, we better. The wedding will start soon. Today is going to be a beautiful day. I'm so happy for John and Lizzie. As are we, my dear. As are we. If you'll excuse me. Well, I guess with this wedding, things will be as they are, and there's not much else we can do about it. I don't think so, my dear. But then Lizzie's always gone her own way. Why would her wedding be any different? Quite right, darling. We better get ready. Indeed. After you, my dear. Hmm. I wonder what this cake is made out of. It looks like buttery toast. Mmm. Butter. Rick, what are you doing? Nothing. I wasn't checking to see if this was buttery toast. Buttery toast? No way. It's buttercream. Mmm, buttercream. No touching the cake until we're done. All right, John, all right. You know how much I love buttery toast. And it looks exactly like the color of buttery toast. I get it. Just don't touch the cake, okay? Please. All right, John. I promise. You all ready to go? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I love Lizzie. And that's all that matters. Have you seen Mom? I haven't seen her yet. You know, Mom. She'll be here. Yeah, you're right. Cake. I can't wait for cake. Thank you, Father, for switching the location of the wedding for us. It's not a problem at all, milady. We needed our dear Lizzie to be happy and to have the wedding that she and John wanted. But of course, my lord. Hello, John. You ready to go? Yep. 
I think so. I'm just waiting for my beautiful bride. That's all. Don't worry, John. She'll be down shortly. She's just getting ready. Excuse me, your lord and ladyship. It's time to get into position. Indeed. Good luck, John. Welcome to the family, John. And welcome to my family, too. Come along, darling. Let's go find a spot to stand. Wonderful, my dear. Wonderful. All right, John. Let's go. And now we wait. Wow, Johnny. Isn't it so pretty here? They did such a nice job decorating. Yeah, it's cool, I guess. I'm pretty bummed, though. I asked to be the ring bearer, and they said they already had somebody. Yeah, I don't know who it is. I was hoping to be a flower girl, but that didn't happen either. You two look adorable. What? I'm not adorable, Mom. I'm handsome. Right, yes you are. You both look fantastic. Mom, how come Johnny's not the ring bearer? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Lizzie says she has a very old friend doing it. But we're her new family. It should have been us. And I should have been a flower girl. Oh, Jasmine, honey, remember, it's not about us today. It's about Lizzie and Uncle John. Okay? Now the wedding's about to get started, so you go find a spot to stand, okay? Okay, Mom. Hey, where's Grace? She's hanging out with Becky and Jason and the other kids. They all wanted to sit by the rose bushes. Come on, Jasmine. Let's go stand over here. Jasmine, you look lovely. I love your dress and your hat. They were a good pick. Thanks, Mom. I like them, too. <laughs> hey, Mom. Marcel, you look fantastic. Uh, thanks. Anyways, is there, like, Wi-Fi here? I haven't texted Shay all day. She's gonna be worried. What if she meets somebody new? I can't be away from her for this long. I need to get back. When's this wedding over? Oh, Marcel, calm down. You can text Shay a little bit later. She knows that the wedding's today. She'll totally understand. Ah, oh, let's get this show on the road. Come on, people, move it. Let's have a wedding. Oh, young love. You look lovely, my dear. Lovely indeed. Thank you, George. I love your suit. Puh, this old thing. Oh, I haven't worn it in years, but luckily it still fits. Well, anyways, you look fantastic. Where's Judy? She'll be down in a moment. She was just finishing getting ready. You know that she likes to look perfect for a special occasion. <laughs> yes, I do know. I think the wedding's about to start. Indeed. i best be finding a spot to stand. Hmm. Ha. I think I'll go and stand with Jason and Becky and the kids. They do love a good party, just like the rest of us. Yes, they sure do. Excuse me, Lord Worcestershire. I think it's time. I do believe you're right. What a wonderful day to walk my daughter down the aisle. And thank you for all the help that you've given in preparing this wedding. I'm very happy to help. As long as that John and Lizzie are happy, I'm happy. Well, I best be doing my fatherly duty. Excuse me. Mmm, this cake looks so good. I can't wait for a piece. Rick, honey. Cake. Rick. Oh, hey, honey. Sorry, I was just admiring this beautiful cake. Maybe I should have ate more breakfast. That probably would have been a good idea. I think we're ready to start. You should take your place. Hmm. All right. Thanks, honey. Love ya. You look amazing. Thanks, Rick, for everything. Of course, John. We're brothers. And a matter of fact, we're twin brothers. I want you to be happy. I honestly thought this day would never come. But it did. And I'm so thankful. This is the first day of the rest of my life. Time to start the wedding. Wait, wait. Where's my mom? I'm coming. Wait for me. I'm so sorry, dear. I was having such a hard time with my dress. No worries, Mom. You made it. That's all that matters. Honey, congratulations on your big day. Your father would be so proud. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate that. Okay, honey. I'm going to go stand with George. Good luck. And I love you. Love you too, Mom. Thanks. This dress is such a burden today, but I wanted to look nice for my son. Well, it was part of a dress anyways. <laughs> but she did look lovely. Now let us begin. Thanks, Dad. Anything for you, my dear. Who gives this woman away? Her mother and I do. Very good. Let's begin. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. If any person knows of any just cause that these two should not be married, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Well, it looks like no one has anything to say. I've got something to say. What? Lord Grey Papron. 
What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here and who are you? Lizzie, who is this guy? He's my former boyfriend, but I haven't seen him in years. What are you doing here? Lizzie, my darling, I found out you were getting married and I had to come straight away. You see, I still love you. Please don't marry him. You must marry me instead. What? I haven't seen you in over ten years and you think I still love you? Why? Because I'm Lord Grey Poupon, of course. How could you not still love me? Lizzie, is this true? Well, he was my boyfriend, yes. But like I said, I haven't seen him in over ten years. And he never believed in my dream for what I wanted to do for work. Not like you. We can do it together. Oh, come now, Lizzie. Don't be serious. Don't tell me you're still digging around in the dirt. You can't be wanting to do that still, are you? Excuse me, Lord Grey Poupon. Lord Worcestershire, please speak some sense into your daughter. She must marry me. Dad, I don't love him. Don't worry, my dear. Let me handle this. All right. I believe you heard my daughter, and I'll kindly ask you to leave. What? You expect me to leave? How dare you? No. How dare you? You come here on my daughter's wedding day and ruin it. You should have listened to her then as you should listen to her now. She doesn't love you and does not want to marry you. Please leave or else I shall have to escort you off the premises once and for all. I have never been so mistreated before. That was your only chance to have me back, Lizzie. I hope you're happy with yourself. Good day. Or should I say, not good day to you. Lizzie, are you all right, my dear? Yes, thanks, Dad. I was not expecting that. No, I don't think so. We shan't be hearing from him again. Shall we continue? Yes, that is, as long as John wants to. Please don't tell me that horrible man ruined our day. Hey, no way. What's a good wedding without a show? <laughs> that guy put on a good show, that's for sure. I'd never give up on you, Lizzie. Let's finish this. Oh, John, you make me so happy. Hold on to that thought. Let's go get married. Well, that was quite entertaining. Do you have the rings? Oh, yes, of course. <whistles> Thank you, Mortimer. Ah, Mortimer! Calm down, Rick, calm down. Nice, Mortimer, nice, Mortimer. Phew, there we go. Shall we continue? Yes, of course. Do you, Elizabeth, Susanna, Worcestershire, to take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And do you, Jonathan Marcel, Ricardo, take this woman to be your wife? I do. By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. We did it. We got married. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So long. Today was a fantastic day. The very best. Let's go. Well, darling, turned out to be a wonderful day. Yes, it did. Even though it wasn't what we were expecting. But overall, a wonderful day indeed. Oh, did I miss saying goodbye to them? I just had to get out of my dress. It was very uncomfortable. I'm not used to wearing so much. No, I gather not. Perhaps you should have waited a little bit longer? Oh, darling, you know what they say. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Mrs. Ricardo, may I offer you a cup of tea? That would be lovely, thank you. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, Please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas!